Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I'm your host, Monty. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Aqua uh, Tunes Aquawind um, 7028 uh, It's a 3 or 5 watt uh, unit. Um, this is an aquarium fan uh, made by Tunes, um, or Tunes or Tunesy, however you like to say it. Um, now, this fan I got for my 22-gallon Lagoon Nano Reef that I'm setting up currently. Um, now, when I set up the tank, I was running into a lot of heating issues because the tank is uh, situated in my basement office, and my office only has a very small window, um, so a lot, a lot of heat gets trapped in the room, and my tank temperature went up to about 85 degrees or 85 degrees um now that's why i got this um fan now as you can see this the uh, tunes is a german company um the product is made in germany so when i got it I was expecting i was expecting good quality product and tunes are, is known to make pretty good products now let's just read on the box and see what we have on the side here it says um this is a um, low quiet fan um with a uh, low noise ventilator provided with a five voltage power supply unit um, it can fit on aquarium edges up to 25 millimeters and has a laminar airflow movement now when I was looking to cool my nano tank uh, initially I purchased uh, a cheap $30 eBay Chinese fan um, as I've done for my other tank, um, but that fan, maybe it was probably a different manufacturer because the fan I got uh, was crap. Uh, it, did, it made no air whatsoever. If I left my window open in my office, I would get more air coming in than that fan provided. So I had to. I returned it, and then I then I thought maybe I should spend a couple more dollars and get um, get a fan from a reputable company like tunes so i looked into marine depot and and they had that fan this fan available so i went ahead and purchased it now when i got the fan um i set it up set everything up um the first 24 to 48 hours it dropped my temperature from 85 to about 83 or 82 sometime depending on the what time of the day um at highest speed settings um, and even though it was better than the Chinese fan that I got before it's still not what I was looking for now and I did not want to spend hundreds of dollars buying a chiller so I, I give the fan the benefit of the doubt give it another two days uh, not much difference not much different now initially I set it up on top of my tank with the air movement going across the top of the water flow on the tank um, and then I thought maybe I should switch it to my sump and see if it does something better so I switched it to the bottom in my sump it had the fan blowing directly into the return chamber of my sump area it didn't help the temperature matter of fact my temperature went back up to like 83 84 even mm -hmm. so this fan didn't do what I wanted it to do I wasn't too happy with it and I'm gonna maybe I'm going to try a couple more things, but if it doesn't work, I might have to just return it back to Marine Depot and hopefully they will uh, accept it. Um, but I just wanted to make this video so I can give you guys an overview of the, what this fan is capable of and what kind of applications you might, you guys might want to use it for. So my, for those of you that are not aware, my, my Nano Lagoon tank is 22 gallons in the tank then I have a 20 gallon sump underneath so overall you're looking at about 42 gallons of water volume now when I read the reviews from uh, Marine Depot's website before I purchased it I got a couple of mixed reviews some people had success with it some didn't um, some people even claimed that they had used it on tanks up to 40 to 60 gallons and it cooled their tank now I'm not sure how their tank how their aquarium room is set up 
um, depending on how your setup is, this fan might work for you. It didn't work for me. I barely have any air ventilation in my room, so this fan didn't do what it was supposed to do. Maybe if your tank is in a well ventilated area or you don't need it to drop so you know four or five degrees of temperature on your tank, it might work for you. But I needed it to drop seven, eight degrees. It didn't do it for me. So let's just unbox the fan and let's just show you guys what you get with the product and we'll talk more details into the fan a little bit later so let's just take it out uh, first thing on this little box is where the cable is where the adapters are uh, let's see and then you have the fan now this is a very good fan I won't lie uh, I like the design it has a little clamp on the bottom so you can hook it up it has LEDs two blue LEDs up top so aesthetically this fan gets a thumbs up it you know it looks good if you're worried about so some fans are not aesthetically pleasing so if you're worried about the fan cramping your tanks um, you know style it won't do it this is, this is a good fan looks wise um, as you can see you have a little clamp on the bottom right there so let's put that aside and see what else we get so you get these instruction manuals and all that stuff warranty stuff uh, from tunes let's put that aside and let's take a look inside the box and see what kind of um, connections we are getting so I'm gonna put the fan down, let's open up the box and see what we get with it. Now, Tunes being an international company, um, they're, they provide you with a lot, a lot of different adapters. So you can use it in different countries with different types of electricity or outlets. So as you can see, you get these European, Asian type of outlets. Um, and then you, all, you obviously get the power brick, little tiny adapter power brick, and you get a very nice long um, cable. So that's the power brick right there, and you get a very nice long USB cable with USB ports on either side. So one side of the port will go on the adapter right there, and the other, other end will go in the back of the fan, which is right there. So it also has a dual USB so you can daisy chain if you only use more than one of these fans. So you can plug the USB to one end and daisy chain the other side. Um, and you have the on off switch with two different on modes. Um, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, now, as far as my experience goes, the reason this fan did not work for me as I would, as I thought it would, um, because maybe my setup is an optimal for this fan. Not everybody's setup is the same. Uh, just because it didn't work on mine uh, doesn't mean it won't work on yours. So you have to take it as it is. Um, now, as you can see with this fan, it has the bottom is covered. And the air actually comes out from the side. That's why they call it a laminar air flow. So the air sucks in from the top um, and it comes out from the side of the fan. So this way the air kind of distributes evenly all over your the surface of surface of the water of your tank. Um, so that's kind of a new um, concept that they're trying and I applaud them for that um, very good concept except it didn't work for me um, now let's go ahead and um, plug the fan in and see how it works um, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and we'll go from there so before I demo how this fan is gonna work I just wanted to uh, emphasize on the fact that what kind of application you're going to be using this fan for um, it all depends on what kind of setup you have you know um, earlier when I said there are some reviews on Marine Depot's website where people with 60 40 gallons had success um, not sure what kind of setup they're they're running maybe they have a lot of airflow in the room or they didn't need the, or the temperature wasn't as high as my tank so they probably only need to drop one or two degrees maybe that's why the fan worked for them it didn't work for me um, but that's beside the fact you have to try it and see so let's go ahead and turn the fan on and see how it works I'm going to show you guys everything so this is the fan on um, looks really good as you can see the blue LED spinning um, aesthetically looks good um, it's on there's two mode buttons is the first mode um, which is the low airflow mode and the other one is the higher flow now with the low flow on you feel a little bit of air but it's not sufficient at all um, I doubt anybody will be running it on low mode everybody will be running it on max so let's put it on max uh, airflow as you can do it right there 
you get the blue indicator now the fan is running on max speed now at this point I can f you can feel the airflow if I put my hand right in front of the fan if you put it right in front of the fan I can feel the airflow um, it's not very strong but it's stronger than before now the further you go away from it the, l the less the air gets now I'm gonna put the fan down and we're gonna do a test right now I'm gonna show you guys how far uh, away from the fan do you feel the airflow I'm gonna put it as far back as I can now I'm gonna do a test and let you know how you know up to how far away from the fan can you feel the air coming out of it so let me go ahead and um, grab a measuring tape so you can measure the distance um, let me go ahead and grab that right now so we can do a demo right now here we go so I have the measuring tape set up uh, I'm gonna pull it push it a little bit shorter so this way the end of the measuring tape is right in the front of the fan and we're gonna start all the way from the front of the fan and I'm gonna keep getting closer to the screen and we'll, I'll let you know how to how far away from the fan I can feel the airflow so right now I'm still feeling it barely feeling it at this point barely almost no almost no air yep at this point I'm right here I'm barely feeling the air at all uh, very very I mean if I didn't know the fan wasn't I wouldn't know and we're about 15 inches away from the fan from the end of the fan to where my hand is that's about 15 inch distance if you go any further you're not gonna get any uh, airflow and even at 15 inches distance I don't think that distance enough is to sufficient uh, airflow is coming out from the fan at that distance to evaporate your water or even cool it for that matter so what I can suggest is this fan might be a good option for you if you have a nano tank um, and you're not you don't your temperature is not as high as my tank was uh, if you're looking to lower your temperature tank temperature by one or two degrees and you have sufficient airflow in the room where the tank is situated your tank is situated this fan might work for you but if you have a bigger tank or let's say you don't have proper ventilation on where your tank is uh, located um, it might not work for you but I mean because it didn't work for me um, and I have a nano tank I mean my tank is overall water volume is about 42 gallons so it didn't work for me um, that's why I wanted to make this video just to give you guys an impression of it uh, it all goes by your setup you know what I mean I'm not an expert on how airflow works and how evaporation uh, cooling works but I have a general experience from my 45 gallon ta tank and I, I use a fan on that I don't I don't use a aquarium chiller or anything like that um, and currently I am using a different type of cooling method a different fan uh, to cool my my nano tank that I have um, using a blower fan I'll talk about it in a different video um, but for what they are advertising I mean on their website on to, on Marine Depot it says you know cool tanks up to 40 gallons or so something like that um, you know condition have to would have to be optimal for this fan to deliver on what it promises um, now from my experience uh, from what I know uh, if you have a nanotech you might be good good with this uh, fan I'll put a link on the description below if you guys are if you guys want to try it out for yourself I'll leave a link on the description for the M M Marine Depot website where you can purchase this fan um, if you guys have any questions or concerns or comments leave it in the comment section below I'll try my best to answer it um, and also if you if you bought this fan and you have success on your system with this fan and it was able to deliver on, on what it promised and you are happy with it leave in the comments below and leave a description of your setup and how you were able to be successful w with using this fan now just because I wasn't suc successful doesn't mean I did it the right way maybe I maybe maybe I made a mistake because it happens so if you had a good story about with this fan leave in the comments below I will look into it as well um, that's it with that being said I'm gonna end the review right here 
Um, if you guys like the video, if you found it helpful, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the bell button. This way you're notified when I'm on my future videos come out. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell button as well, uh, because you that's something new with you with that. Um, so with that being said, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys, uh, and we'll talk soon. I will, I'll be doing another follow-up videos in upcoming weeks. And happy reefing, guys, and thanks for watching. Stay cool, guys.